So we're halfway through the year and I don't know about y'all, but I am still waiting for Yeezy to drop the 1050 boot. Well, apparently Lil Baby isn't because he is the latest individual to receive a pair and he went straight to Instagram to show off his new Yeezy. So what's going on guys? JA for today's video, we're going over my list of the top 10 Yeezy releases for 2022 so far. Stay tuned to find out which pair comes in at number one. Usually I do not like to include re-releases or restocks on these lists, but because re-releases were such an important part of the Yeezy brand for 2022, today's list will include classics as well as new releases. So before we get things started, I wanna give an honorable mention to the Yeezy Knit Basketball Slate Azure. Although this pair did not make the list and it does have kind of a steep retail price point coming in at 260, I had the chance to see these joints in person and man, the colorway is amazing. Although these are a performance driven model, this colorway is so good that I feel like these joints can be rocked casually as well. So to kick off the list, coming in at number 10, we have the Yeezy 350 V2 Compact Slate Carbon. So the Yeezy 350 V2 Compact has already had the reputation as being one of the most comfortable Yeezy models. I was waiting for the perfect colorway to drop and this pretty much all black version of the 350 Compact definitely does it for me. This joint features a primary all black colorway and then you have a couple of tan hits in there to kind of give these joints a different vibe. These joints are an update on the classic 350 V2. Not only do they look great, but they are comfortable. So coming in at number 10, we have the Yeezy 350 V2 Compact Slate Carbon. Also be on the lookout for the Slate Bone colorway, which is set to drop coming up later this year. So coming in at number nine, we have the Yeezy 350 V2 Oreo. Now this was a tough choice for me because we had several classic 350s that re-released this year, including the Zebra as well as the Blue Tint. But I feel like being as that the Oreo never re-released in the past, this was a pair that was extremely coveted amongst Yeezy enthusiasts. I even had a tough choice picking these above the Dazzling Blue, but I really think it's the nostalgia being that these are a classic Yeezy model. So coming in at number nine, we got the 350 V2 Oreo. And nostalgia may be playing a factor on this pair as well, but coming in at number eight, we got the classic Yeezy 500 Blush. So many great things to say about this sneaker. Plus, you got a pretty much all white shoe. These joints are super clean. As you guys know, the 500 takes inspiration from a retro Adidas Kobe sole, but kind of gives it its own flair and vibe with a redesigned upper. These joints right here are super clean, very wearable, and in my opinion, the 500 low looks even better with shorts. So these joints are a bonafide classic. Coming in at number eight, we got the 500 blush. Now coming in at number seven, this may be a surprise to some, but I've got the Yeezy 700 V3 fade carbon. This was an unexpected release from the Yeezy brand. I feel like these joints kind of came out of nowhere. The colorway was very polarizing and shocking at the same moment. So you got a colorway that starts with blue and transitions to a red that even drags onto the back heel. An interesting take for a futuristic Yeezy model. I love the 700 V3, was waiting on a crazy new colorway and this design definitely scratched that itch that I was waiting for. This is the perfect summertime sneaker. So coming in at number seven, I went with the 700 V3 fade carbon. So coming in at number six, we have yet another classic Yeezy, the 700 V2 Static. This colorway was the debut for the 700 V2, which actually released just about a year after the original 700 V1. So when these joints hit, people were going crazy. You know, we were just getting familiar with the V1 and then Yeezy came and hit us with the V2, which kind of gave a new futuristic take on the V1, but they share a lot of similarities, including the classic sole that we came to love from the 700. So these joints are a clean, all white sneaker. The 3M hits like crazy. And when these joints originally released, they were one of the more limited releases. So it's great that Yeezy brought these joints out the vault. Who wants to pay crazy resale prices for a sneaker that already comes in at a high $300 
retail price point. So coming in at number six, I chose a classic, the Yeezy 700 B2 Static. Coming in at number five, I went with the Yeezy Desert Boot, which is one of those re-releases that I almost forgot restocked this year. So you can't go wrong with the oil or the rock color. The Desert Boot has slowly became one of the more classic, recognizable Yeezy silhouettes. Inspired by classic military style boots, Kanye has really became a huge playmaker in the boot market. And this is one of the versions that we first got to see during the Yeezy season line and then Adidas came, making a more affordable version for the masses to enjoy. So coming in at number five, we got the Yeezy Desert Boot. And coming in at number four, we have the 700 V1 Wave Runner. Now this pair may be possibly one of my favorite Yeezys of all time. There's so many great things I could say about this model as well as this colorway. First of all, the V1 ushered in the whole dad shoe wave. This started a complete new trend and then so many great things to say about the color blocking which in my opinion is very retro inspired. I feel like with these tones, this sneaker Pretty much, you can get away with wearing these joints with just about anything. So these are a bona fide classic. I'm glad that Yeezy continues to bring these out the vault. And even in 2022, these still made the top list for my Yeezys for the year. So coming in at number four, we got the 700 V1 Wave Runner. So coming in at number three, we have the Foam Runner Onyx. And who would have known it took all these years for Adidas and Yeezy to finally release a black version of the Foam Runner. The Yeezy Foam Runner has really became so popular and mainstream, which originally started off as a meme to now being one of the hottest pairs of sneakers that you can cop. It's so great because it's kind of a combination between a slip on slide and it has more of a structure of a sneaker. So it kind of is one of those pairs that I kind of can't find myself wearing anything other than Yeezy Foam Runner. So for that reason, had to put these joints at the top. A lot of different colorways drop, but you can't go wrong with an all black pair, which is why at number three, I got the Yeezy Foam Runner Onyx. Coming in at number two, we have the 700 MNVN Laceless Phosphor. Now this may be a shocker to find these so high on my list, but this is most definitely one of my favorite releases for the year. Of course, it is a redesign of the 700 MMVN Phosphor. Of course, you guys may feel like the laceless technology is gimmicky, but believe it or not, this shoe has just a better overall structure than the original. Not to mention, you have finally a brand new white sole. Just these small additions, I feel like really made this a great redesign and why I had to put it at the top of one of my favorite Yeezys for the year and not to mention these joints got the pull tab and coming in at number one this was a tough decision it took me like a whole 30 seconds to chew these joints at number one but i had to go with the yeezy slide onyx because i'm wearing them on feet right now this is hands down my most worn yeezy for the entire year the yeezy slide has just done so many great things similar to the foam runners originally people weren't accepting these but now these are one of the hottest and most in-demand pieces of footwear on the market. And who would have known it took Yeezy this long to finally drop an all black version. So this is the, a great minimalistic, but gives high designer vibes at the same time. I love these, wear these all the time. And I love the fact that Adidas continues to restock these. You know, they retail at $70. You know, it's not always easy for us to cop these for retail, but they've dropped this colorway already two different times. And then there's a third restock coming up next month. So Yeezy doesn't care about resale. They continue to drop these time and time again. And I love that. And these joints are number one, my most worn pair of Yeezys the Yeezy Slide Onyx coming in at number one. So this is a very important time. I need you guys to get in the comment section. Give me your feedback on today's list. Were you guys happy or mad at my selections? And if you weren't feeling my list, get in the comments and drop your top 10 list of the best Yeezy releases for the year of 2022 so far. So I guess we're still waiting on the 1050 yay so salute to each and every one of y'all for tuning in i'm ja make sure you guys stay safe 
Stay blessed. And I'm out, y'all. Huge salute.